Hey everyone, okay, so apologies for the attire, but I really wanted to get this video out straight away. Now, firstly I want to apologize because this is something that I absolutely missed. And it's strange because, well, it's a, probably about a year and a half ago, or maybe two years since I reviewed the other product, but I absolutely missed it. And one of my gorgeous followers, uh, Megan Melby, she left a message on the video that I just did, which is that liquid foundation by Estee Lauder, the double wear, nude which is phenomenal and is still truly the best foundation liquid I've ever used and she left a comment saying basically Wayne this is the exact same formula as Max um, water weight now as you know I reviewed water weight a while ago and explained in that video that it's an amazing foundation but it's exactly the same as the Smashbox one and I'm talking it was identical now I don't know what the ingredient list is in the States but I've got the MAC Waterway, and I've also obviously got the Holy Grail, which is the Double Wear Nude. Now I've just compared the ingredient list. Now here in the UK, again, I don't know what it's like in the States, there is a slight discrepancy in ingredients here in the UK. So the Estee Lauder one is slightly different from the MAC Waterway, but it is so slight. There are minor differences, but it's very, very slight. Now, I just compared the two of these, and in all honesty, the Estee Lauder one looks better to me. There is a slight difference in application. This one is less, uh, the Estee Lauder is less thick than the MAC Waterway, but they are nearly identical. If you do not like Waterway, you will not like the Estee Lauder one, almost certainly. The similarities are incredibly, incredibly similar. There's just a texture difference. This is thinner than the MAC Waterway. But it is very, very odd when a company, now Estee Lauder owns Estee Lauder, MAC, Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, the list goes on. But when you roll out a product that is identical as was with the Smashbox and the MAC, and then you roll it out and add the double wear name to it. It's very, very strange. Now, if Estee Lauder are watching this, they'd love to comment because I would love to hear about this because it is interesting for me. But this is more an apology that I missed this. And thank you to Megan who did pick up on this because the moment I saw it, I then went straight out or straight in here and got them and started to compare. And again, the ingredient list is nearly identical in the UK, but not quite. There are some... Um, minor differences but I would imagine I'm not a cosmetic chemist but I would imagine that they are minor but who knows it doesn't change the fact that this is still the favorite liquid foundation I have ever used ever it is perfect especially on dry flaky skins it is phenomenal but the fact that they're so similar doesn't sit well with me in the fact that I just want to know why they are so similar and are we really now getting to the point where we are just sticking different names on different products to um, sell? I'd love to know. This isn't a dig at Estee Lauder. They're a wonderful company and they make amazing products all around the range. But if they are watching, I would just like to know what the difference is because if I'm missing something, I will absolutely do a video and correct myself because I'm happy to be wrong. I just would like to know why. That's all. Anyway, thanks for watching. All the information, well there's no information because I've just given you it, but I'll see you all soon for a new video, which is a tip one, and it's a good one. See you soon, bye bye.